Well, let's start with a price action. We'll do it cross asset worldwide, beginning with equities. Huge moves in the equity markets. The biggest one day drop on the SP 500 that we have seen going back to December 2008. So there's your equity picture. I can tell you that SP 500 futures continue to roll over in the hour or so after that. If you get to the next board, switch up the board in the bond market, you know all about the massive <coughs> bid into the bond market. Treasury yields settled down at 0.54%, coming down 22 basis points. A monster move in crude, the biggest move we've seen since 1991 at the open Sunday evening, gapping lower on Brent by as much as 31%. And Lisa, this is the one I know that you've been watching over the last week or so. That drop in junk in high yield debt, that's the biggest drop going back to 2009. When you look <coughs> at past market routes, people always say that credit leads, that credit sells off first, that it's a canary in the coal mine, it's a leading indicator. This time, it was not. And not only is it was it not the leading indicator, but some people think it's at the epicenter yeah. of what's to come with stocks that of companies that are more heavily indebted getting punished even more with concerns about a credit seizure. We're literally making the charts up as we go. Show this chart quickly, Jackie, if you would. This is the two-year German yield. John, I want you to con continue the data check. But what is so important here, it's like Dow 10,000. It's a 1% negative yield. The blue line, 0%. The 10-year in white and the two-year craters today to a negative 1.003. I know we're going to talk to Bob Michael and others about this, but that's a real benchmark.